Morning folks, um, German World War II, um, just one figure, I thought I'd have a go at painting the uh, oak leaf camo on his smock and his helmet, I've never done that before, so I thought I'd have a little go. Um, the figure's been painted in uh, basic German green and I think it's had a, what's it, uh, a dark tone wash on it all over everywhere, so I shall uh, start from scratch again now painting um, the um, oak leaf pattern needs a sort of um, a pale brown probably um, and what we got oh dear, what's this cork brown or something similar I might even use a different brown a lighter brown anyway yeah so I'm going to put the brown on the smock and on the helmet um, and then uh, s um, work out what camo what to colour next? I think it's an orangey colour next, but anyway, back soon. Um, yeah, so far, there we have the, I'm just moving a bit, the um, light brown, and then I've put a few black brown patches on. Uh, what I've done, the gaiters in the same brown, and the boots are black, and I've just put a bit of equipment black in this black and the helmet cover so right um, next thing is the orange which i think is a german orange and i actually have that Vladio german orange so i'm now going to start speckling on some orange over the black that shows up does it yeah that's that's where we go so right i'll crack on with that back soon yeah, that's the um, the pinky colour finished. I'll just uh, move him around a bit, yeah. So we've got the uh, pinky orange, which is what they call German orange. That's just added in patches. Looks a real mess, but there we go. So what I'm going to do now is paint up the rest of the equipment, the gun, the backpack, uh, gas mask, blah, 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 and any other bits and pieces, because what I need to do now is put strong tone on everywhere and then I can uh, highlight the camouflage after. So, right, I'm now gonna paint the rest of the figure, bringing him up to the strong tone stage. So, back soon. Okay, everything's painted up and uh, ready to go, ready to put the uh, strong tone on. Um, so everything's had a basic coat um, of uh, paint, a little bit of dry brushing on some items. Uh, but most of the dry brushing I'm going to do once I've put the strong tone on. I shall then go around and pick up um, with lighter colours. So I'll, uh, I'll get the strong tone on and uh, we'll see what we've got after that. And there we have him, the um, varnish, not the varnish, the uh, strong tone is just about dry. So I'll just pick him up. Yeah, so that's a bit shiny obviously. Um, I'm now about to start on the orange, which I'm using a bright orange, as recommended. And then there'll be lots of shading on the other bits and pieces. So I think I'm going to get all the shading done. Um, oh yeah, and the flesh tones, they'll need a, a shade on as well. They're a bit flat. So uh, yeah, I'll get all those bits done. And then come back when they're finished. And uh, there we have him, just about finished. Uh, come on to the light. Yeah, we've got the orangey, orangey uh, autumn camouflage. I've just shaded most of the bits and pieces. I'll double check, but I think everything's shaded. I'm going to put a little bit of gun metal on the metal parts. Uh, and then I'm going to do the base. So I think I will come back for a final roundup in, uh, in a short while. So back soon. Well, there we go, all finished. Um, it's my first attempt at uh, German Waffen SS oak leaf pattern camo. <laughs> yes. Um, not sure if it was good, bad, or indifferent. It was okay to do. Um, I think I would have liked it a little bit brighter in the finish. I followed the steps that other people had done. Uh, perhaps my oranges were just slightly different, but. Uh, yeah, it's done it okay. I'm I'm pleased enough with it. Um, I think more practice, perhaps practice with some other colours, some lighter, slightly lighter coloured oranges, and maybe a slightly lighter brown. Uh, yeah, that's uh, 
my first camo so I'm going to try that say that's the um, oak leaf I, oh God, I can't say it and Tarn oak leaf patterns I'm going to try the uh, that's the autumn one I'm going to try the spring one next which or summer one which is, has the green I think that'll be my next attempt but uh, yeah all done um, I haven't got any matte varnish to matte him so it's a little bit shiny in places but uh, I can do that later so anyway uh, thanks for looking and uh, bye for now <laughs>